So I made a video discussing how the factory mass index has many flaws and it cannot be used as the golden standard of assessing one's natural potential. And for this reason, many people are asking me, Alex, if the factory mass index is inaccurate, what would you recommend instead? Because surely there has to be something that could objectively measure what your natural potential is. So in this video, I'm going to give you two perspectives, the strength perspective and the muscle building perspective. And when I say muscle building, I'm referring to the stats, uh, not, not a 25 or 26 factor mass index. No, I'm referring to specific uh, measurements that you could use in a calculator. So let's break this down. As I said in the last video about factor mass index, the problem with it is that it only accounts for height, weight, and body fat percentage. Okay. Now there are researchers who identify this as a problem. I'm not the first who discovered this. Okay. So one guy by the name of Casey Butt, he's a doctor, he created his own formula that sought to correct the problems of the factory mass index, right? So he basically took the same formula but added a little twist to it by including bone structure, okay? Now in his calculations, he includes the, um, the wrist, the ankle. So this is extremely, extremely important in seeing how much size you can actually gain because the more bone you have, the bigger structure you have, the more size you can put on, okay? So by using this calculator, and I'll provide the link in the description box, it can tell you with more accuracy than the factory mass index uh, what your maximum weight could be, what your maximum measurements could be. And of course, do take this with a grain of salt. It's not 100% accurate. Of course, it could still be up and below. Like it said, my limit for forms is 13 and a half, but I already surpassed that. I'm at 14 and a half. So it's not 100% accurate, but it gives you a much better idea than the factory mass index, okay? So that's what I would use personally. And uh, if you look at my stats, it's interesting because it says that I could reach 205 pounds at 50% body fat, which is very, very interesting. You see the difference here, right? According to factory mass index, I can't even be, uh, this is like the natural limit. Where I stand right now is literally the max I could do. But according to Casey Butt, which factors in um, the structure of my body, I can actually be 205. Very, you see the difference here, right? That's what I was trying to say last video. And also, I had a subscriber recently. He's five foot six. He told me he has nine inch wrists. So all you people complaining that my example was uh, like over exaggerated? Yes, it was. But it was also to prove a point that when you have joint, uh, when you have different structures, you have to factor that into account. And my subscriber that I commented yesterday, you know who you are? That is a perfect, perfect example right there. If he were to use the fat from SNX calculator, he would have the same natural potential as other five foot six peers. But now that we know he has a nine inch wrist, that's going to have significant effects on his bicep and tricep development as well as his forms. So that's the calculator that I would use, the one developed by Casey Butt. It really is the best one on the market. And uh, if, if I were to give a suggestion to uh, future researchers, which I doubt it's ever going to happen, it's, it's pretty much impossible at this point. Uh, seeing as all the, the previous world record holders of drug free error are dead, what you need to do is factor in a little bit more things. Like clavicle length is very important in determining how uh, how big your shoulders are going to get, how big your traps are going to get, uh, even how wide your neck's going to get too. Very important. Uh, your back as well. Rib cage structure, I would classify it as small, medium, or big in the calculator. And then of course, different limb length. So I'd like to see uh, measurements of the arms, of the torso, and the legs. I, I'm not, I don't, I don't subscribe to the idea that it should just be from head to toe. So where the calculators usually say height, it should have specific height measurements. It shouldn't be top to bottom. It should be torso length, leg length, and arm length. And that, that, that should be your real height, okay? Relative to how tall you actually are. So if one were to develop such a formula, that would be the most accurate way of measuring your stats, okay? But for now, just use the Casey Butt method. It's far, far, far more accurate than the fat from SNX because it actually accounts for bone structure, which I told you last time is a major problem with the fat from SNX. Now, moving on to the strength side of things. Um, you can't really compare your strength to the drug-free powerlifts of today because uh, drug testing does not work. And the facts are there's, there's lots of drugs that people could take that it's just going to pass through. It's, it's not going to get caught, okay? And um, it, it is what it is. The, the top guys, you don't know who's natural or not. There's no way of confirming it. So you can't take those numbers too seriously. Uh, but luckily, we, there was an era where people were actually drug-free because they did not exist back then. And this is the era of the old-time strongmen and the people in like the 1800s and shit like that. So you have to look at those types of guys and compare strength that way, okay? And um, that, that's, that's really the only thing you could do because the, the, the guys of today are enhanced. They're, they're, they might claim natural, but they're actually not. So whatever the old-time strongman strength was, Expect like since now we have different training methods like equipment has evolved exercise science has evolved You can probably surpass that. Okay, and I'm sure there's some genetic freaks that can surpass that uh, So say like plus or minus 15% that's pretty much a natural potential in terms of strength So look at the old-time legends These are the dudes that are going to give you a real representation of how much you could actually pull 
in my honest opinion. Okay, so that's how you would do it. For muscle stats, like the measurements of your arms, the um, how much weight you can put on naturally, use the Casey Butt formula, okay, which is the best thing out there currently. And then for strength development, look at the old time strongman. That's pretty, you're, you're not gonna get a better strength than that, a, a better strength comparison. And these guys were very, very strong, okay? So do those two comparisons, and that's the natural potential as a drug free lifter. And by the way, I wanna raise final one final point that uh, some people say that there is no such thing as natural limit because as long as you create a new adaptation and you surpass the biological law of accommodation, you're going to constantly make gains. And I, I, you know what? I can tend to believe with this. I can believe this. The thing is, the gains are going to be very, very small. So you might add five pounds to your bench press every single year, you know. But in the span of 10 years, that's uh, a lot of weight added, you know. So maybe the natural potential doesn't even exist. Maybe you can keep making gains as long as you uh, switch things up. But do realize that the gains are going to be a lot shorter, shorter lived and shittier. But that's all I have for today's video. I hope this clarifies what I meant. Uh, the, like I said, the fat from SNX does not account for bone structure, which is its most, um, which is the biggest flaw. So that's why I listed the Casey butt and the, um, the old time strongman strength. So that's it for today's video. Hope you liked it. And I'll talk to you guys next time.